channel if you are new babe hit the subscribe button because you're gonna want to stay if you're returning hey besties it's so good to see you guys again we are back with another meal prep that is packed with flavorful fun creative and easy components for this batch prep you're gonna love this one so make sure that you save this because you're gonna want to make each and every one of these recipes guaranteed i also snuck in per your request a little dessert a little sweet treat because i'm learning that a lot of you guys have a sweet tooth like i do so at the very end of this video we've got a sweet peach treat i'm really a peach girl Really? I recognize that I use a lot of peaches, but they're just so good. You guys can go ahead and pause right now to read my disclaimer. All the recipes will be down below in the description box. And that's it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this meal prep. So first up, we have some salmon and I'm gonna take three barbecue style fillets. I guess that's just like the cut of the salmon. Anyway, I'm gonna season it with the seasonings on the screen. You guys know, you guys can pick and choose the seasonings that you like, but these are the ones that I enjoy. And I'm basically gonna make sure that the salmon is completely covered on all sides with that seasoning. I'm gonna allow it to sit for five to 10 minutes so it can marinate. And then I'm gonna sear it in a lightly greased nonstick skillet on all sides because I like color on my proteins you definitely at this point could put it in your air fryer but me i prefer to get that really nice sear and color especially since mine have the skin still on the bottom of the filet i just feel like it's better to sear it but feel free to do you and you're just gonna cook it until the salmon is completely finished <laughs> Now that the salmon is completely cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it over into a regular regular meal prep container and set it aside and allow it to cool. Next up, we are making some quick and easy chicken satay. I was supposed to buy skewers and put these on skewers and make it all cute and I forgot the skewers. So we're just gonna make it work. So I'm gonna be adding all of the ingredients that you see on the screen here. Again, remember that the recipe will be down below in the description box. I made some adjustments from the original recipe because I could not find yellow curry powder to save my life. So instead I picked up some yellow curry sauce from Trader Joe's and honestly, I think I'm better off for it because it was so good. But you're gonna go ahead and add all of these ingredients ingredients together there are quite a few of them but trust me it's so good you're gonna want to make this once all of your ingredients are added into the bowl you can go ahead and give it a really good mix and then I popped mine in the fridge for about 45 minutes to an hour just to allow the chicken to marinate and all the flavors to penetrate the meat and then we're gonna cook it on the stove <music> is marinating this is the perfect time to make this super delicious quick and easy peanut sauce it's super basic but the flavor of it is incredible okay like I would have never thought just mixing a few simple pantry items together would make a sauce that was literally delectable <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the little things, but I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these ingredients to a bowl and we're gonna mix really, really well. I strayed a little bit from the measurements from the original recipe that I found on Pinterest, which is what I usually do anyway. I kept the same ingredients, just adjusted the measurements just to fit my palate, but feel free to add or omit whatever you like. Now, when you're mixing this, you'll have to trust the process because it looks really strange and weird, but it will come together and you'll get this really thick consistency. You're gonna wanna thin it out with water. I prefer to make mine a little bit thinner that way 
as it sits throughout the week it gets thicker it's not too thick and I don't have to keep adding water each time but it's super easy just mix it all together pop it in a little mason jar and it holds up about 10 days in the fridge now I know you guys already know how to cook chicken because we cook chicken on this channel every single week but I'm gonna go ahead and add my marinated chicken and the sauce into a nonstick skillet over medium high heat and I'm going to cook until this chicken is completely completely cooked you already know you're basically gonna cook the chicken until the sauce becomes reduced a little bit darker in color and sticky that's how you'll know and it takes a little bit of time so we know we're not rushing this process here For our final component, I am going to be making a quick and easy mango salsa, which is very surprising because you guys know that I think fruit belongs with fruit and vegetables belong with vegetables. But I guess the older you get, your palate changes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some mango. This mango was real hard, so definitely buy a mango maybe a week before and then it'll be ready for you because these mangoes were super hard. And I'm just going to go ahead and dice my fruits and veggies, which range from mangoes, red peppers, red onions, jalapeno, and a little bit of cilantro. And then we're just going to pop everything in a bowl, season lightly, and dress with a little bit of lemon or lime juice, and that is the salsa. everything that I batched listen it doesn't look like a lot but I'm about to show you guys how I prepared them or assembled them throughout the week and y'all these dishes were amazing first up we have a chicken side table I'm gonna put everything in a bowl okay if you haven't learned that about me everything goes in a bowl my base is going to be this kale and red cabbage blend that I picked up from Trader Joe's I just heated up some frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's and then paired the chicken with some cucumbers shredded carrots and then drizzled the top with a good helping of the peanut sauce which was so good and then I'm just garnishing with a little bit of chopped cashews red pepper flakes and some green onions and it's mouth-watering really y'all it was that good up next we have a salmon and rice bowl topped with the fresh mango salsa that we made so my base is going to be just this baby kale and I'm dressing mine with a little bit of lime juice you don't have to do this you can use regular salad dressing I just am trying to watch my calories and so I'm gonna just use some lemon juice and then I'm just going to use that same brown rice from Trader Joe's place the salmon on the plate and pile high the mango salsa and I don't know what it is but it just tastes like summer in a bowl We're not done just yet. I got a super quick, easy, and healthier version of a peach crisp slash cobbler dessert for you guys. I don't really know where I concocted the recipe, but it's been working for me and I think it's great, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So I just have some peaches, cinnamon, honey, and a little bit of vanilla in a bowl, and I'm gonna mix them really, really well and set them aside. I use frozen peaches that I defrosted, but you could definitely use fresh peaches. They're just not in season right now. And then in another bowl, I'm gonna mix together the oat crumble topping and put some oats, copious amounts of cinnamon, because y'all know how I I love cinnamon and then this was only supposed to be about two teaspoons of olive oil but I got a little carried away a little bit more honey and some salt to balance out that sweetness and we're just gonna mix that together set it aside and then we're gonna pop both of these in the air fryer so that we have to do minimal work I just made this little like foil 
bowl thing and I just topped the peaches with the oat mixture and I allowed it to cook for 15 minutes at 370 degrees and this has just been my go-to dessert these last couple of days like I have a sweet tooth and this has been definitely satisfying my craving and then I just topped mine off with a little bit of vanilla bean halo top and boom there she is so quick so easy and you can feel good about eating it this week's meal prep i loved every single one of these recipes and i hope that you enjoyed them as much as i did as well if you try any of these recipes definitely let me know down below in the comment section and with that i'm gonna leave you guys here thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video if you enjoyed it please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video and until next time babes i'll see you in my next mm -hmm.